Welcome to a new tutorial that shows the integrated use of the 310 Copilot and the MPM4 repository of AI text-to-protein sequences. Using an example, this tutorial will demonstrate that MPM4 repository contains structurally and functionally plausible AI program molecules. Let's get right into it. First, we go to the MPM4 repo. This repo currently contains over a thousand novel proteins covering a wide range of functions based on natural language prompts. Let's filter it down to proteins related to peptidase activity, that is, proteases. What are peptidases? Peptidases, also called proteases, are a diverse group of enzymes that breaks down other proteins by cutting the peptide bond between specific amino acids. That is, it cuts other proteins in half. The enzymes in your body that digest proteins in your food are peptidases. They are one of the largest enzyme families, making up about 2% of the human genome and 1-5% to of the genomes of infectious organisms. Proteases have a really wide range of applications. In medicine, there are 25 FDA-approved protease therapies used as treatments. For example, Activase from Genentech, which is used to treat stroke and other cardiac conditions. In industries, proteases like subtacillin are used in detergents. For example, Tide Laundry Detergent from Procter & Gamble uses this to help remove food stains. And in biotechnology, they are an essential reagent used in many processes. For example, trypsin is an ingredient scientists use all of the time in order to grow cells in a dish for their experiments. Filtering the repo with the peptidase keyword gives us 10 proteins. We will examine the first one on this list by hovering over it and clicking on more details. This page gives us more information about this particular protein, including the amino acid sequence that was generated from this short sequence prompt, an ESM fold predicted structure that you can download using the download button. There's also the protenolem predicted function. As you can see, it has dipeptyl peptidase as a key prediction, which is also what the input prompt asked for. To the left, you have some quality and validation metrics, including the structural metric PLDBT, the NLM score, which is a measure of how well the predicted function matches the prompt, and the amino acid composition score, all of which are pretty good here. The F target item shows the closest experimental PDB structure to this structure model. Although we have the NLM score, we want to dig deeper. Specifically, we want to compare the generated protein to the closest PDB that has the function of interest. Let's export this protein to the 310 Copilot using the new Edit This Protein in Copilot button. The protein is loaded here as P underscore 1, and I'm going to ask Copilot to rename it to its repo ID. And then we're going to look up the closest experimental PDB. The Copilot runs a fold seek under the hood, and we can see that the top two PDB IDs it returns match the ones we previously saw on the summary page. Each of the above hits contains only the relevant chain. I will tell Copilot to also fetch the full structure directly from the PDB. Now I'm going to export all of the results for further in-depth residue level analysis in Python. Here is the extracted downloaded folder containing all of the structures, sequences, and log files from Copilot. And here is my PyMol. I'm going to open the reference PDB file, and let's turn on the sequence viewer. The structure contains multiple chains of the same unit and other ligands. So I'm going to clean it up so that I just have chain A of the protein with no water, no ligand. Now let's get more information about this reference PDB structure. We go to the RCSB page, and we can find the associated Uniprot ID and look it up in Uniprot. Here we see that the protein is indeed a peptidase. As typical of many peptidases, it has a serine aspartate and histidine triad. These are conserved residues necessary for the actual proteolytic activity. Let's highlight these residues in the structure on PyMol. 
Since the target function of the AI-generated protein is the same, we expect to see the exact residues of the triad appropriately positioned. We show the triad of the reference in yellow sticks here. Let's load the ESM model of the MPM4 protein into PyMol and do a sequence and structure alignment of the two. We find that the AI-generated sequence contains the expected triad and appropriately lines up with the reference sequence. We also see that the residues, shown as magenta sticks, superimpose very well on the reference structure. This exercise shows that AI text-to-protein generated sequences is a reasonable peptidase with the necessary features as expected. Check out the MPM4 repo and try out some of the AI generated sequences in Copilot yourself. Both of these are on the 310 platform. Let us know if you find anything interesting. See you in the next tutorial.